Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. In, in you, you alone, alone we put, put our, our hope. God the Father, creator and sustainer, who gives all good things, seen and unseen. In, in you, you alone, alone we put, put our, our hope. God the Son, saviour and redeemer, who died for our sins and rose again. In, in you, you alone, alone we put our hope. hope. God the Spirit, teacher and comforter, who encourages us to walk in faith and to worship. In, in you, you alone, alone do we put our hope. Good evening, uh, my name's Ross Wilson. I'm the rector here at St John's Orange Field in East Belfast. And my name is Sonia Wilson. I'm one of the lay readers here. We really want to welcome you to this uh, service of evening prayer tonight, drawing from the Church of Ireland prayer book. In this service, as usual, Sonia will be speaking out the responses, many of which uh, we think may be familiar to you. And if so, we invite you to speak out those responses with her. Living God, as we worship together, grant us the courage to hope. Hope for your presence. Hope for your peace. Hope for your promise. Amen. Amen. Let's pause and take a moment of silence and turn our hearts to the God of hope. Beloved in Christ, we come together to offer to Almighty God our worship and praise and thanksgiving, to confess our sins and to receive God's forgiveness, to hear his holy word proclaimed, to bring before him our needs and the needs of the world, and to pray that in the power of his spirit we may serve him and know the greatness of his love. Let's spend some time confessing our sins and receiving God's forgiveness. God of hope and light, we recognise the darkness that threatens our lives and the whole world. Loneliness and grief, humiliation and shame, illness and death, homelessness and hunger, hatred and oppression, injustice and inequality, violence and abuse. Within each of these realities and in many more, we can identify our own stories. Forgive us, O Lord. Christ's resurrection gives us hope that nothing, no tragedy, no mistake, no sin, no evil is beyond the redemptive power of God's love. This is the truth of God's kingdom, a kingdom we long for and live for a kingdom for which we pray. So Lord, open our lips. And our mouth will proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Let's take some time then to praise the Lord in song. If you know the words of these songs and hymns, sing them out. And if you don't, why don't you just sit and let the music and words minister to you. Are you hurting and broken within? Overwhelmed by the weight of the sin, Jesus is calling. Have you come to the end of yourself? Do you thirst for the drink from the well? Jesus is calling. Oh, come to the altar. Come today, there's no reason to wait. Jesus. 
Jesus is calling. Bring your sorrows and trade them for joy. From the ashes a new life is born. Jesus is calling. Oh, come to It 
is a lantern to my feet and a light upon our path O Lord your word is everlasting it stands firm forever in the heavens let us then receive the word of the Lord so may the light of your presence shine into our hearts a reading from the book of Hebrews chapter 6 beginning at verse 13 when God made his promise to Abraham since there was no one greater for him to swear by, he swore by himself, saying, I will surely bless you and give you many descendants. And so, after waiting patiently, Abraham received what was promised. People swear by someone greater than themselves, and the oath confirms what is said and puts an end to all argument. Because God wanted to make the unchanging nature of his purpose very clear to the heirs of what was promised. He confirmed it with an oath. God did this so that by two unchangeable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, we who have fled to take hold of the hope set before us may be greatly encouraged. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. It enters the inner sanctuary behind the curtain where our forerunner, Jesus, has entered on our behalf. He has become a high priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We read some verses from Psalm 116 this evening, beginning at the first verse. I love the Lord, for he heard my voice, he heard my cry for mercy. Because he turned his ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. And then from verse 10. I trusted in the Lord when I said, I am greatly afflicted. In my alarm, I said, everyone is a liar. What shall I return to the Lord for all his goodness to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful servants. Truly, I am your servant, Lord. I serve you just as my mother did. You have freed me from my chains. I will sacrifice a thank offering to you and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, Jerusalem, praise the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was, was in the, the beginning, beginning, is now, and, and shall, shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Our Gospel reading is from the 18th chapter of the Gospel of Luke, beginning at verse 35. As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard the crowd going by, he asked what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He called out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Those who led the way rebuked him and told him to be quiet. But he shouted all the more, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and ordered the man to be brought to him. When he came near, Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? Lord, I want to see, he replied. Jesus said to him, receive your sight, your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus, praising God. When all the people saw it, they also praised God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. If you'd like to watch a short talk based on our Bible reading from Hebrews 6, 
and looking at the topic of knowing God's hope, then you'll find the video link alongside the link to this service. Let's affirm our faith together in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, save the Queen. And grant her government wisdom. Let your ministers be clothed with righteousness. And let your servant shout for joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless those whom you have chosen. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And let your glory be over all the earth. O God, make clean our hearts within us. And renew us by your Holy Spirit. A collect for the first Sunday after Trinity. God, the strength of all those who put their trust in you, Mercifully accept our prayers and because through the weakness of our mortal nature we can do no good thing without you, grant us the help of your grace that in the keeping of your commandments we may please you both in will and deed. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And an evening collect. Grant, O Lord, that the word which we hear this day may so take root in our hearts that we, living in accordance with your holy will, may ever praise and magnify your glorious name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's continue in prayer then. And tonight, it seems fitting that we adopt a slightly adapted prayer for peace written by Jack Knox of the Mennonite Church. Gracious Lord, we dream of a world free of poverty and oppression, and we yearn for a world free of vengeance and violence. Tonight we pray for your peace. When our hearts ache for the victims of war and oppression, help us to remember that you healed people simply by touching them. Give us faith in your ability to use us to comfort and heal bodies and minds and spirits that have been broken by violence. When the injustice of this world seems too much for us to handle, help us to remember that you fed 5,000 with only five loaves of bread and two fish. Give us hope that what we have to offer will turn out to be enough too. When fear of the power and opinions of others tempts us not to speak for the least among us, help us to remember that you dared to turn over the tables of the money changers and give us the courage to risk following you without counting the cost. When we feel ourselves fill with anger at those who are violent and oppressive, help us to remember that you prayed for those who killed you. 
Give us compassion for our enemies too. When we tell ourselves that we have given all we can to bring peace to this world, help us to remember your sacrifice and give us the miracle of losing a little more of ourselves in serving you and our neighbours. Walk with us, Lord, as we answer your call to be peacemakers. Increase our compassion, our generosity, our hospitality for the least of your children. Give us the courage, the patience, the serenity, the self-honesty and the gentleness of spirit that are needed in a world filled with turmoil and terror. Amen. Amen. Just before we conclude our time together then, a reminder to regularly check with our church Facebook page if you want to find out the latest news and goings on and other encouragements. It's facebook.com forward slash St John's Orangefield. This is our primary way of communicating church business through this period when we cannot meet together, so please do check in. Then also, please remember that if you'd like to talk and pray about any concerns at all that you might have, do get in touch. We're here to help you uh, in any way we can, but the current restrictions mean that it's very likely that we may not know about struggles you may be having. So please lift the phone, email or text us. As we conclude this time together then, be with us, Lord, wherever we find ourselves in these uncertain times. May the lips that have sung your praise always speak the truth. May the ears which have heard your word Listen only to what is good. And may our lives, as well as our worship, be always pleasing in your sight. For the glory of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord of Lords, illumine our hearts that we may feel your glory and live into the hope to which you have called us. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining with us in worship today. We look forward to joining with you again in the coming week as we meet virtually through this Facebook page and the Zoom platform and as we connect with each other in other ways. Keep in touch and see you next time. God bless you and keep you. God bless you.